my name is Casey Anderson, and this is my presentation for my semester-long um, practice one in working with individuals. So my client was Katie. She's case number 4921. Um, she's 31 years old, Caucasian female. She's single and has two children, John and Michaela. Michaela is 12 and John is 8. Um, she was showing, her presenting problem was signs of stress. And this stress included um, working two uh, part-time jobs, being a single mother. John was struggling in school and Michaela was starting to talk back. And she was wanting, um, she had symptoms of generalized anxiety disorder and was wanting to learn stress management and how to minimize the, her stress. In the intake stage, um, I used the skill of summarization. And here is one video. If you were unable to hear that, um, I have talked about how summer, I summarized how our goals for the 12 weeks was to be able to, like I said previously, um, learn stress management and then how to minimize what stress was left. I also used closed-ended questions. Uh, this was in regards to talking about consent, consent form and asking if she had any questions and she was pretty clear on what the consent form meant. And my tool used was my consent form. In the multidimensional assessment stage, I used the skill, the basic skill of clarification. Um, during this, I talked about, I asked her, she told me about, Katie told me about her family, who she considered her family, and her support system with that. And she considered her family to be her two kids. Um, and when I asked her about that, she said that I summarized her feelings of how her kids were a strong support system for her, making her feel loved and cared for. And this is a video of, oh, this is a video of clarification. You talked about your two kids, John and Michaela. Um, is there anybody else that you consider like family, or is it just your three? It's just really us three. I mean, my sisters are not my wife sometimes, but she's, she's white, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, what's your sister's name? Courtney. Courtney? Okay. So, like, you said she's kind of flighty. Is that, like, different from she's kind of flighty? Time? Yeah. yeah. She's yeah. bouncing around right now, so. Okay. So, if you could just really just back down to it, it'd just be you and two kids. Yeah. Okay. So that'd be, like, your family composition, right? So in this clip, I, the summarization skill and the clarification skill, they kind of coincided together. Um, in this video, I clarified how she had her sister on the scene, but she was kind of back and forth, and there sometimes, sometimes not. And so I clarified that she really just considered her two kids to be her family. And the tool used was the multidimensional assessment form. This tool was for me to better understand about her life, about her history, and so the next plan, um, the next stage was the treatment plan and the contract stage, and I used the skill of paraphrasing. So this skill that was used, we couldn't hear it, was paraphrasing what goals she wanted to be in what order. So prioritizing her goals. And so we clarified that and I paraphrased what she said. And I also um, did information giving. I gave her some handouts on stress management and a um, fact sheet on what actually stress was. I gave her the fact sheet on what stress is and also on breathing techniques. So that was my information giving, was giving those handouts for her to take home, read, and if she understood that if she had any questions, she can come and talk to me about it. So the tool used in this stage was the individual treatment plan, and this tool was for Katie and I to work on uh, what the goals were and how we were gonna accomplish those goals. So the two scholarly articles that I used, one of them was Economo, and this 
really focused on the psychoeducation. And um, a quote from this was that psychoeducation is cost effective, it's clinically effective, it enhances the client's life, quality of life. Also, this increases um, the client motivation and briefing the client about what the presenting problem is how to problem solve, and self-assertiveness with the presenting problem. The second article I used was uh, Vinci et al., and this focused on the cognitive behavioral therapy. And a quote from this was, restructuring thoughts, short-term change, usually yielding long-term change. And I saw this effective with Katie. Um, we worked on short-term goals, and really over the course of the 12 weeks, we realized that this was a long-term change that she had made and she was wanting to keep. Um, CBT also, which is what I utilized with Katie, uh, was using examples of weekly homework, um, it was cost effective, and it fulfills the SMART goals. And this was also supported with Katie by using restructuring thoughts of her stress for the client. In the last stage was the evaluation plan. I used the skill of summarization. Here's the video. And so one of her things that she really liked to do was to read. So I gave her a book for one of our goals, and she ended up reading it, and she also went to the library and got her own books. So from taking care of the self, from her practicing self-care, she was able to see the differences in her children's lives. Um, she, like she said in the video, Michaela wasn't talking back as much. John was starting to get better grades in school. And so that was the, one of the skills that I utilized uh, was summarization. The next one was furthering responses. I don't have a video of that, but this was us, Katie and I were talking about how she took the book, she read it, and she was telling me that the changes that she saw um, after reading this book and throughout uh, her response, I was incorporating head nods. So the tool that I used in this was our ritual, which was a poem, and this was New Beginnings by Gertrude B. McClain. For my reflection, things that I felt that I did well in, I feel like I had a proficiency in the editing program before this project. I had no idea how to work that, so I feel like I have some proficiency in that. Um, I learned how not to use uh, everyday language and how to use professional language. I successfully composited an uh, eco map and a genogram. My skills began to flow more naturally, and my listening skills improved before actually meeting the requirements. Things I would do differently would be to plan the theories that I want to use, the evidence-based practice in the intake stage. I also would like to prolong the sessions in time as if it were a complete 50 minutes. I would like to build my own toolbox prior to the intervention, not just scurrying and trying to get it together. I would like to ask more questions in the intake and multidimensional assessment stage. I did not ask as many questions as I, liked, I, I would have liked and I had to pay for that later, just trying to backtrack. And lastly, I would have given more handouts earlier um, in the sessions, that way she had those in her own toolbox. Are there any questions? I've got a quick question. When it comes to um, connecting and engaging with the client, was there anything that you found in particular that was helpful for this particular client that helped gain that rapport and keep it kind of going? I think mirroring her her body language and her responses, at first I was not doing that, and I realized quickly that that was what the barrier was in our relationship, and then after I, I realized, hey, she's a little, I'm a little cheery and peppy, and she's not sometimes, and so I needed to mirror that in order to make her feel welcome and safe in that. Thank you very much. Side note for all the looks I got.